Member for Fraser Nicola. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's with great pleasure that I speak today about an exciting project happening in my riding. That project has a goal to wake up the Fraser Canyon. The Fraser Canyon is the hidden gem of British Columbia. Absolutely spectacular views, incredible history, and a highway corridor that was devastated by the building of the Coquihalla. Two years ago, 40 people gathered in a room in Lytton to talk about the challenges in the canyon. Everyone who needed to be there was in the room, and a plan was made. We are now nearing the end of the process to write the tourism master plan for the Fraser Canyon. Everyone is still at the table. Government agencies have been extremely cooperative. Communities are committed, and we are ready for action. We've identified infrastructure projects like viewpoints, pull-out, and signage. Yale First Nation is planning a new campground at Alexandra Bridge, and Pathways to Gold is working with government to stabilize the old Alexandra Bridge for walking. Trails and viewing areas will also be developed. Boston Bar, a small community in the canyon, has received federal funding of close to $2 million to refurbish their historic train station. Trails throughout the corridor have been identified for parking and signage development. Kanaka Bar Band is developing a new rest stop, which will encourage food trucks and further development. And Lytton has identified projects both in town and on the highway. All this work being done is built around respect for the land, sustainability, and job creation. I can tell you, Mr. Speaker, throughout the Canyon Corridor, there is excitement in the air. And we would like to invite everyone in this house to spend your staycation traveling through the Fraser Canyon this year. Thank you.